Hello everybody, I'm John Evans and you're watching another episode of Mid Mod Money, the show that teaches you how to buy and sell vintage items for a profit. Hey, thanks for tuning into this episode. Sincerely, thank you. And remember, it's the last episode of the month, which means next Monday is the first episode of the month and that is when we give away a free vintage item. Every first Monday of the month, all you have to do is subscribe, comment on that video and you will be entered in the running to win what we have next week. Now, having said that, this video is special for another reason, because at the end of this video, I'm going to show you the weirdest thing I have ever bought, ever, in all of my travels. This is the weirdest item I've ever bought to flip, and it's super cool and super weird. You're going to want to stick around for this, uh, but let's get to this haul, which is a multifaceted haul. It is uh, thrift stores, it's uh, flea markets, garage sales, everything from all over the globe, essentially. First items I found were from Pittsburgh, PA. That's right. My, my, my old stomping grounds. I was at the Salvation Army in Pittsburgh, and I found these two canisters. These are made by Holiday Designs. And you wouldn't know it's Holiday Designs, but it says very faintly on the bottom, if you hold it just right, it's embossed into the ceramic Holiday Designs. These were $5.99 each. Half price. That's right. I got both of these for six bucks. And I will just say this. If you can find these in the right color, your oranges. I had an orange full set that I sold for $125. Uh, the better colors, your greens, your oranges will sell these. So uh, this one, one of these, yeah, this one has chips. One in the bottom, another on the side. Uh, doesn't take away from the overall look. And I think I can still get about 27, 28 bucks. So I'll make 18, 19 bucks off of these awesome holiday designs canisters. Next thing I found was this handsome fellow. Look at this. Huh? This is uh, made by a company called Nylauk Pottery. They made pottery in the 40s, the 50s, the 60s. Uh, this one is not dated, but you can see on the back. On the bottom, rather, Nylauk. We've got a we've got some bugs in here. I will take it. I will. I will show my dark side. Uh, this was two bucks American, two dollars Nylauk. Very difficult to research this. There was not another one of these on eBay, which is a good. I saw a lot of their other pottery, but none exactly like this. I believe this is late fifties, early sixties. And I think I'm going to ask $32 for the, what is this, Desert Rose? What do you call this kind of pink? A muted pink? Soft pink? $32 bucks off of two. Not bad on the Nylauk, look for that name, pottery. All right, next thing I found at the Queen City Indoor Flea Market. Oh my God. Look at this. Look at this tiki. What is it? It's a trinket box. Holy smokes. Very good looking trinket box. Hand carved abalone inlay. Uh, a lot of work went into this. Very good condition. This is probably tourist art from some exotic location, like uh, some Polynesian location, perhaps Hawaii. But you could, I guess you could probably buy this uh, in, a, in a store to remind yourself of your exotic vacation. Now, this was $12. Man, I didn't want to pay $12 for this because I know at the top end, it's 28 30 bucks, which, you know, I don't mind making that kind of money. That's not bad because the, the tiki stuff is still very hot. Tiki stuff sells, especially vintage. You put it in your booth, it's gone as long as it's priced right. And this will be on the high end, so we'll see how long I have this. But I don't mind, because this is nice stuff. This People want this kind of stuff. Uh, tiki, some tiki guy will see this and have to have it. So uh, 12 into 28, let's call it. All right, next thing I found at a garage sale, but not just any garage sale. It was in a storefront. Uh, there was a store that went out of business, and I guess the owner let her have a garage sale in there. Didn't see much of anything except for this. And some of you already know what this is. This is a Napco lady vase. That's right. Her head is like a vase. She's got this um, 
I don't know, kind of a see-through hair thing. These are all over the place. Um, it's a kind of a hot item, but they, depending on what you price it at, these go between fifty and a hundred dollars. Believe it or not, it's not marked Napco. It does show good age on the bottom, but uh, I think there was a Napco sticker actually. But this one, I'm probably gonna ask between fifty and sixty bucks, probably low fifties, fifty-four. I'll probably ask for this. And this is right in the middle. Did I get it? Dang. Right in the middle of, uh, like, not the best one, not the worst one. Good-looking vase, no chips, no cracks. A lot of things that could be chipped and cracked, but aren't. So I paid $5 for this, and she wasn't going to go any less. I paid it, and I'm going to ask 54 bucks on the Napco Lady Vase. Google these because they're out there. They're not that hard to find. Um, next thing I found at the City Mission Thrift Store. I found two items in Uniontown. Brand new thrift store. I think I've mentioned that I've, I've been there before. But this first thing I found from the City Mission, very dear to my heart. Look at this. This falls in the category of sad child. Not quite big-eyed, but it is big-eye adjacent, and it is large. This was $5.99 at City Mission, and I did not hesitate. Even though it's not color, the image of this girl is haunting, I think is what I'm trying to... I mean, it's just, who would put that on their wall? Um, someone who thinks adorable 60s children are you know, cool or whatever. This will, I will have no problem selling this between 25 and 30. I'm going to start it out at $28. Again, the size really is good, what's going to sell it. Very sad. I wonder why she's so sad. You know, that's, that's what I always thought about those sad eyed kids. All right. Next thing I found at City Mission. And did somebody say ashtrays? Yes. We have, this is three weeks in a row now, right? 60s ashtray great mid-century modern shape color and you're saying to yourself how do you know it's 60s how, i mean how do you even know well on the back it says anarcho 1963 that's right cleveland ohio anarcho never heard of it before this and they kind of wanted an arm and a leg, huh? Ten bucks at a thrift store? Yeah, thrift stores know what they have. Uh, and uh, I also know that $10 is not the end of the line on this ashtray. I can sell this ashtray easily for 28 bucks in my booth. I'll probably ask 29 make, uh, you know, 19 bucks off this cool mid-century ashtray. No chips, no cracks. Amazing shape. Man, George Jetson's. Uh, very cool ashtray. Happy to find it. All right. We are down to our last thing. Can you believe that? The weirdest thing I've ever found. I can't even believe I just said that sentence, but it's true. And let's, let's just go off the grid here. Okay. And let's look. Oh my good. What do we have here? This is a giant switch box general electric switch box uh heavy large and i mean large this thing is three feet by two and a half feet industrial as all get out and the reason i turned it off not that it's connected to anything but the reason i turned it off is because you can't open it in the on position that's right and i might not be able to open it period does this thing st stick i swear to you i've had this open oh there we go okay now this was ten dollars at a garage sale ten bucks and as you can see it's still got all the hardware in there and uh the consensus between me and my fiance is to hollow this out okay and make a liquor cabinet out of this it will require some wood in the bottom and maybe metal shelves but i'm thinking wood shelves because neither one of us know how to work metal but 
super cool, super weird. I think if you did this correctly and did a good job, I think that this will probably bring a hundred twenty-five. And if it comes out really nice, maybe even more than that, maybe even a hundred and fifty bucks. Again, has to be done right, has to be cleaned up a little bit, done properly. A a light switch liquor cabinet is something that I want to undertake. Now, there's definitely going to be a follow-up video for this particular item because I don't want this just sitting around my basement. I want to I want to turn that into something special and sell it. So, look for the follow-up video of me and my fiance. Maybe this will be my fiance's debut for Mid Mod Money. She's I've been asking and asking uh, let's take a look at what I found. I, I spent $52 on everything. 52 bucks. When it's all said and done through my booths at the antique malls, now three of them. Uh, also, the Facebook Marketplace, maybe, perhaps some eBay. I'm looking at 335 bucks off of $52. And you can do it too. Keep hitting the garage sales. Stop at every garage sale. Go to flea markets. Cut out the middleman. Forget Goodwill. I mean, no, I love Goodwill, but you got other avenues. And uh, remember to watch my show. I'll guide you through the process. Thank you guys for watching, and remember to always round up.